Hello everyone and welcome. Today our webcast will be on filtering. This is the second webcast on filtering. The first one, as a reminder, was on chapter filtering. And that was uh, accomplished by this center panel uh, filters in the center um, panel, if you will. Uh, and in this particular case, I have January, February, and March. And any filter you choose in here affects everything, whether I have one visualization or 10 visualizations in this section over here, um, this filter will affect all of those, all of these um, visualizations. The kind of filter we're going to be talking about today are filters on a specific visualization. So in this particular case, we have visualization number one. And what I want to do is I want to just see my central region. So if you notice, I have my regions, uh, central, east, south, and west. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on my central region. And notice that I have keep only and exclude. So I'm going to go ahead and keep only. And notice that immediately filtered all of the other regions out. And I'm only looking at central region. Additionally, an icon was placed into my header. And if I click on that, you'll see that I can clear all or clear region. Since I only have one filter applied, this, this either one of those will do the same thing. But say I want to just look at um, corporate, I could click here and go keep only. Now I've got two filters applied and if I come up here, I can see that both filters are applied. And I could go ahead and clear one or I can, if I were to have clicked here, it would have cleared both. Now the other option that you can do is if you right click and go to exclude. So if I click on exclude, now everything appears with the exception of central. So exclude means I want to just, I don't want to see central. So in the same way, you can go up to the icon, click on it and go clear all and central comes back. That's very simple uh, kind of uh, filtering. Uh, but now we're going to actually get into some very complex filtering. And the way to do that is you come up to the ellipsis in the upper right hand corner, left click on the ellipsis, and you're going to go down to Edit Filter. This is new to, to MicroStrategy Desktop 1010, and I have the ability to add qualification. So I'm going to do that. And what that does is it gives me a drop down box and I'm going to select from my drop down box. Now in this particular area, I can choose attributes or I can choose metrics. Now notice that I can choose an attribute of something that's not even in my visualization. So if you remember correctly, we had region, segment, and category in the report, but I can select from a lot of different uh, other attributes if I choose to. But for the purposes of this report, I'm going to go ahead and select region. And in this particular case, I just want to look at the central region and click on OK. And it, you, as you can see, it created a filter and I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Now notice that was the same as if I had right clicked on some on it and uh, select and selected keep only. If I come up, the, the icon is here. Notice if I come up here and it goes to advanced qualification. One of the idiosyncrasies I want you to be aware of is, say for instance, I now apply uh, a filter here and go keep only. So now I'm central and, and consumer. If I come up to my icon, Notice that I have clear all, uh, clear segment, and advanced qualification. So if I want to modify, if I do clear all, notice that the advanced qualification is still there. It's a little idiosyncrasy that I'm not sure I like with MicroStrategy, but it is what it is. So um, consumer is back. Now I want to show you what some of this will look like. I'm going to for the first time show some slides to kind of give you an idea of what it is that I want to accomplish. So the first one, now notice when I had clicked, this is an Excel, an export of that report. When I had right clicked on uh, central and I saw said keep only, basically what I was doing was 
only keeping central and everything to the right. Um, but now I want to do something different. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and keep central and I want to add segment, uh, only two segments. So that's what I'm going to do next. Now I could do that by clicking, notice we have already got central. I could hold the control and uh, button and double and click on both of those. Right click and go keep only. So that's one way of doing it. And come up here and you'll see that uh, both of those uh, filters are still there. But I want to use the advanced qualification. I'm going to clear that filter. I'm going to do something interesting here. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to go to advanced qualification again. And I'm going to add a new qualification. And this one will be based on the segment. So we're going to come down to segment. Click on that. And we get a dialog box. So the quick way of doing this would be to say, I just want consumer corporate. And that would be quick, and I could click on OK and apply, and that would work. But I'm not going to do that, uh, just so I can show you some functionality. Uh, notice we pick segment, and down here we have uh, select elements by, and the default is select in list. Um, and you can do in list or not in list, so this would be an exclude. But the other thing you can do is qualify uh, qualification on. I'm going to click on that. Notice now I have a lot more options on what to qualify on. And I'm going to select, begins with, the letter C. And click on OK. Now I have two qualifications. And notice there's an AND in between region and segment. And I can change that, and we will in a few minutes. But for now, this is what I want, so I'm going to click on Save. Notice the same thing as if I had done it um, the other way, where I right-clicked. Now I'm just looking at Central, uh, Consumer, and Corporate. But the last thing I want to do is I want to get a little bit more sophisticated. So I'm going to go back to my slides. Now what I want to do is I want to look at Consumer Furniture and Corporate Technology. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult to accomplish with straight filters. So I'm going to have to use some what's called grouping, and uh, I'm going to ch have to change one of my operators between my filters. And that will become pretty apparent, hopefully. So now I'm going to go back up to my filter and go to Advanced Qualifications. And I'm going to add a qualification. So we're going to keep Central. And we're going to change this qualification. And we're going to change this to, sorry. We're going to change this to Enlist. And I'm going to say Consumer. Click on OK. So now we have Consumer. And now I also want to add another one. And this one would be Category. And I said I wanted to do uh, consumer uh, furniture. So, OK. Now what I need to do is create a group. So I need to create this as a group. So I need to group these two conditions. What I also need to do is I need to create another qualification. And this is on segment. This will become pretty apparent here in a second. And I'm going to choose Corporate and click on OK. And I'm going to choose one last one. And this one will be on Category and Technology. OK. So now I'm going to, I need to create these two as a group. So what I'm doing here is, Universally, I want just the central region, but then I also want um, anything in the consumer and furniture and their group together, and the uh, corporate and technology and their group together. Now I'm going to run this and I'm going to get no data. 
okay? There's a reason why, and I'll show you here in a second. So I'm gonna go back and go to advanced. It's because there's an and between this group here and this group here. If you think about it, this makes sense because an item can't be both in the consumer furniture group and in the corporate technology group. So I need to change this, and if I click on that and I go to or, so now what I'm saying is everything is in the central group and I want the products that are in the consumer and the furniture group, or I want things that are in the corporate and technology group. Now if I click on save, I have exactly what I was looking for. The last thing, and I'm just going to show you it can be done, but I'm not going to get too deep into it. Notice this create set over here. Don't go there. That's a very sophisticated filter, and that will be probably another video, but way down the line, because then we're getting to some really sophisticated stuff. Hopefully you like this, and this will help with your qualifications in the future. Thank you for listening.